It doesn't really get much talk in this, does it? Premiers away. Nah, it's a good start, man. Yeah, like you said, Premiers um, down in Tassie, they're pretty, they're very strong down there. So um, it's a good challenge for us, and yeah, it's going to be good. Where are you guys? Where, where do you guys see yourselves at? I mean, preseason was was a bit up and down, but you go into the first match of the season. Where are you close to? Be? Yeah, look, it's an interesting one. I think it's hard to sort of get a gauge um, within the competition right now. I mean, you look over the weekend, GWS beating Sydney, for instance, like. Um, I don't think too many were expecting that. So I think it's going to be a really competitive uh, year this year. I mean, there's a, I can think of 12 to 14 sides that could ultimately contend for an eight. Um, where we fit in that, we're not entirely sure. We've got, obviously, the frameworks that we've worked on all pre-season. Um, we feel when we've put together the full side, we've shown glimpses um, that we can put together a really good um, sort of brand of footy. So, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, I reckon. Um, Okay. Obviously, uh, Hawthorne sort of shown no signs of um, any hangovers or anything like that in the preseason. How have you assessed their, you know, their film today? Yeah, it's been impressive. I mean, we saw them in the first week of the NAB. We didn't exactly field our strongest side, but um, we got a, a good gauge on they. They mean business. Um, they've come out publicly and said they don't want the hangover like they had the last time they won the flag, and I think that's been pretty evident the way they've gone about it. So um, yeah, we're well aware we're coming up against a, a really good outfit. Um, who, are, who are on, seem to be on right now. So, um, yeah, going to be a good challenge. Hey, uh, Matt, I get a few few pundits and types tipping you guys to not do so well this year. Wooden spoon talk. Does that get back to the group? And does that sort of put a bit of a fire in the belly, or do you just brush that sort of stuff aside? Yeah, I mean, you hear it obviously, and um, but yeah, what what can you do? You can't really buy into it and go, oh yeah, I agree with that <laughs> sort of thing. So um, yeah, we're not. We want to get out of the season, and we're quietly confident that. On any on when we play our best footy, we'll challenge some some really good sides. So um, it's probably not such a bad thing to have. No, and you might catch a catch a few sides, a uh, few teams offside. So yeah, we're quite confident. Do you think your efforts last year have been a little bit forgotten or undervalued? I mean, you were only a couple of kicks away from playing finals. So yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, when you look at it that way, I, you yeah, I think you're right. Um, we just finished outside the eight ultimately, and. The back half of our year last year was, was quite impressive, I thought. So I think we've added some, some really good talent in the likes of Trent West and Luke McGuan. So, um, yeah, I'd I like to think that we can surprise a few people. And what about Brownie? How's he looking? Yeah, no, he's been going well. I mean, he played the half against the Swans a fortnight ago and got a couple more training sessions under his belt um, since then, um, up until now. So, yeah, I th he's definitely put his best foot forward. We've got a couple of games to work with Trent West now and, and figure that out. How, how have you found it so far and how do you think we'll sort of split time? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I'm just loving having a having the chop out um, from him to be honest. It's it's really good. Um yeah, we don't I think it'll just come down to match ups and things like that on the day. Um, who knows, maybe he's doing really well up forward and I'm not, so he spends more time there. So I think it's just the sort of thing we'll we'll work around and, and take as it comes. So but no, I've been loving it, it's been great. You sort of hear some ruck and say they like playing as much time as they can in the ruck and not have much of a rest. You, you haven't found that so far? Like you, you like the sort of switching up between ruck and forward? Yeah, I don't mind it. Um, it'll probably, yeah, I mean, it'll probably take a little bit of time to maybe adjust to it. But I know for me personally, playing against two ruckmen is a lot harder than playing against just one and I say a key forward who pinch hits for 20% of the game. So. Um, I'd like to think that the two of us be able to work over opponents a lot better than, say, if it was just me one out. So, yeah, I think in the team regards, it's, uh, it's certainly an asset for us.